coming out swinging. It was a, it was a rough opening weekend, but it you know it feels like you guys have been back on track now. It was a real impressive performance. You and Krim really really coming up big. Um, you know what did you guys talk about between between now and uh, Minneapolis? You guys you know kind of kind of came out a little lackluster, albeit playing with probably two of the best teams in the league. What happened between then and now? Uh, I think we just got more comfortable. I think a lot of it had to do with the patch timing and the game kind of completely changing right before Minnesota. You know, we put in three months of practice, and then in Minnesota it's a completely different game, and we had about eight hours. So three months practice versus eight hours is kind of hard to replicate what you were doing to succeed. And so I think in the time from Minnesota to now, we've just kind of refined on this patch and made sure we're all aware of where we need to be and what we need to be doing. And that's really been the key is just having everybody understand what's going on and where they need to go at all times. You know, IW dropped that patch, what, two, two days before? They dropped another patch right after, nerfing the MP5, nerfing the M4 a little bit. Have you seen much of an adjustment there, or, or is it just kind of like tiny little things that you don't take notice on? Yeah, the second patch didn't really affect much. I mean, the M4 and the MP5 are still the two best guns. Uh, I was hoping that there'd be some more variety, but unfortunately they didn't buff anything else, so it's still M4, MP5 meta. So, um, you know, London crowd, a little bit different than Minneapolis crowd. You got a couple young guys in your team, you know, Shotzi impressed that too. Has there been much discussion around those young guys of how to handle a crowd like this compared to what you've been used to in the past? Yeah, I've definitely talked with them a bit about crowd energy and getting the crowd on your side and, and even interacting with them to get them on your side because having the crowd on your side in a match, especially in Call of Duty, is really important. Like to have the team or the crowd cheer for you when anyone on your team does anything cool, it, it's really, it boosts the confidence, it boosts the adrenaline levels, it makes you feel more passionate about what you're doing. So I've definitely talked with them, you know, do a little interaction, don't just ignore them the whole time. Uh, they're here to watch some good Call of Duty and so hopefully we give it to them. I mean, you guys gave us some good Call of Duty on that gun run at Search and Destroy map. I mean, that was pretty pretty nice to see you guys coming back. What was the thought process in there? You know, you said on stage you kind of like let the guys loose halfway through and you were as you were down. What were you guys talking about in comms when you made that decision? Yeah, it was one of the things where like once you get down like 2-4, two, 2-5, two, uh, it's like whatever we're doing isn't working, so let's switch it up because, you know, we've been doing it so long, like you can keep doing what you're doing, but you're probably going to lose. So as soon as we realized it wasn't working, it's like, all right, game plan out the window. Let's just run and gun, see what happens. And it ended up working out for us. The uh, the opening match in Minneapolis, uh, you know, unfortunately owned three to, to the Huntsman. Scump had, Scump had something, oh, one and three, apologize. Um, you know, Scump had something to say on stage. Is You're in the same group. Is this the weekend to kind of shut him up and show him what's up? Uh, I mean, that's the goal. The goal is uh, to shut up all the, all the haters. And, you know, Scump might be in that category, but... We're not really hyper-focused on that. We're more hyper-focused on our team and making sure we perform. And whatever opponent's in our way, we're going to try our best to beat them. There's not any specific, like, you know, bad blood or between me and them or the rest of the team, maybe Crim6 and them. But, uh, you know, the rest of us, we're just trying to come out here and do our job. So hopefully, uh, you know, we get a matchup versus them this weekend and hopefully we perform better than we did in Minnesota. You say, you know, that you're really focused on the team's performance and, and improving. You know, it looks like you guys have turned the corner. I mean, that was a really impressive performance. It's taking home the tournament really the only tr one true goal this weekend, or would you be happy with a, you know, second place? Oh, no. Winning the tournament's the only goal. Anything less than first is a severe disappointment, and, and we won't be happy with it. So we're out here to win this tournament, the first tournament of the CDL of the Franchise League, and that's our goal this weekend. You know, there's been a little bit of uh, a little bit of discussion around domination making it into the competitive scene. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I know a lot of you guys voted on it. It was either to capture the flag or domination. Do you? What did you guys vote for? What are your thoughts on domination? Um, we think domination was a lot better before the patch happened and the neutraling of the flags happened. It's actually made the game really, really hectic with the spawns and stuff. And then there being the glitch in the settings where you can't multiple people hop on the flag. So domination in its current form is really, really bad. Uh, we think that domination before all this happened was actually a lot better. Uh, and then CTF, we tried it out and it was just abysmal, especially like 5v5 on these maps with the way it works out. Like it doesn't play very well and you would end up with like three people playing all time defense, which is not fun to watch. It would be a very boring and slow game type to watch, even more so than Domination. So it's kind of just lesser of two evils right now. And hopefully we can get some changes to uh, you know, make Domination back to kind of how it was. Would you choose a different game mode other than uh, CTF and Domination? 
I mean, I've, I've, been, I've said that the best Game 3 mode we've had was actually Control from last year. And I think, like, Control is one of those modes that requires a lot of tactics and a lot of strategy. And, and it's really fun to watch because you can clutch up no matter how much you're down. Uh, and then, you know, a second one would be Uplink. Like, but it's kind of hard without the advanced movement and the jetpacks and stuff like that. So Uplink's kind of one you can't really do with a game like this. But I think Control would be something that we could try out. Or if Infinity Ward wanted to add that to their game, it'd be something that we'd play. Awesome. Well, good luck this weekend. We're really excited to see what you guys can do. Thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it, man. Have a good one.